It's that time of the year again. That's right, it is time for the Advent Cardinder, as you can tell from the description in the bottom. So, this year we're doing it a bit different. If you remember last year, I had a, uh, a nondescript brown cardboard box filled with trading card packs and we opened one a day. Well, this year, um, due to some unforeseen, uh, unplanned videos not going ahead, and the fact that I bought this, this year we're not doubling it, we're tripling it! As you see in front of us, we have the Pokemon Holiday Calendar, um, which we'll look at in a second, and we've got that box there, which can't really show you, but has 50 packs in it. Um, so basically, as you can tell, I'm going to be opening one of these things a day and two of the things in there. So I've kind of tripled it, not really intending to. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to stop rambling now. I'm going to move this to the side and we're going to open this up. So we'll take a quick look uh, at, the, at the box. There is a box within the box. This is the holiday calendar. Now I have noticed it doesn't say the year which does lead me to believe that's where it looks like it does say what's in it, but I'm not going to read because that would spoil it. Um, but yeah, it doesn't mention a year, which is interesting, so it leads me to believe that maybe they'll be selling these for a few years. Uh, I do know a lot of uh, hype beast content creators have already opened up their holiday calendar in September because the most important thing is views. Uh, but I thought I'd be like an absolute crazy man and uh, open it, you know, around Christmas. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, the outer box has been moved. So I think it folds this way, right? There you go. There's the uh, there's the calendar. So that's a nice picture of uh, Deli Bird and Lapras and everybody having fun. And on the back, oh, there's... <laughs> Okay, never mind me. Um, so as you can see, there is for up to, I believe it's up to day 24. Uh, no, there is a day 25 actually, so this is a 25 day calendar. I know it's a bit hit and miss. Some calendars are up to day 24 and some don't. Uh, anyway, right, so I'm going to take a look. I think that's day number one. I think I've knocked in the holes of some of these already just by handling it. Right, well, without further ado, I'm going to put my hand into there and pull out wherever is in number one, I guess. Hang on, am I doing this right? Ha! I'm an idiot! Sorry, I didn't notice that this actually goes in order. I almost opened up day 11, which is there, which I thought said one. Um, however, I, I've i kind of worked out how you do it as well. You like strip these off and like rip them and then grab what's inside, I guess. So unfortunately, this is... hang on. All right, this is the best view I can give you, I think. So, uh, number one, it is indeed number one here. So, the point is to kind of rip this off, I guess, and reach inside. Aha! And it is, there's a... Ooh, ooh wow! This is a, um, a perfectly, perfectly, uh, I, I, hmm. Well. Uh, it is being held by cardboard, I think, so this is a... God, I'm glad I've got other things. I do have sleeves to the side, actually. I've got the uh, the newest set, which I still can't remember the name of. But we've got a very cute uh, Alolan Vulpix, so I thought that, that was appropriate. Anyway, let's see what card it is. It is a holiday version of a bear tick. You can tell it's holiday because it's got the little snowflake there. Hmm, look how, look how nice and straight that card is. Right, I'm going to go sleeve this, Biobi. Alright, that's very mildly straight. No, not really, it's just bending my sleeve now. Okay, fair enough. Well, um, that was fucking terrible. Um, I'm not going not gonna to beat around the bush. I'm going to put this under a heavy book or something. This is... Wow, this is not a well thought out thing. I'm just making sure there is nothing. No, okay, cool. There's nothing else. So you just like put your hand in. It's it's kind of held sideways, which is a bit weird. Um, right. Well, there you go. We've got a incredibly bent bear tick. Um, right. I'm gonna go move it off to the side now, and we'll get into that one. 
All right, it is time for some funny what's in the box comments, ha ha ha, as we look into the random box of mysteries. So over the year, basically, I've kind of got a few packs of different things that I meant to do videos on, but I forgot about, and then realised, hey, I could do an advent calendar, but I had too many to do 25 of them, because I had like 30 something. So like, oh, I'll do 50, I guess. So we have a collection of some Yu-Gi-Oh! charity packs from my local card shop. Uh, these are 50 pence. They come with pretty cool stuff, to be fair. We've got some packs from Robot Carnival, which is ja uh, Masters of Japanese Animation. Now, this features cards like from old anime and stuff. And this really caught my attention when I saw it on eBay a while ago. Uh, we've also got some Topps X-Files cards. And then we have some Pokemon cards, as you've no doubt seen. Uh, some from Lost Origin, and some from Silver Tempest. So, I'm just going to mix them up. There's, as I say, there's 50 cards in here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and grab one of each. Now, there's varying numbers of each of the packs. Um, the Yu-Gi-Oh! ones are more common than the others. But, oh, okay. Now, first one is one of these Robot Carnival ones. So this is from, like, the 90s, I think. Um, and, yeah, it's ten cards per pack. Uh, let's see if I can focus on the back. So these are from 1994 by uh, Cornerstone Communications. I don't even know if they're still going today. Um, but, yeah, so from what I could tell, these are screenshots of random, like, 90s and, I suppose, 80s anime. Um... There are a few, like, shots of mecha anime and stuff. No, I bought this just on a whim. I think there was, like, a listing. I bought five, because I was like, oh, I'll do a little video on it, and if I really like this, I'll buy some more. Um, but that was, like, February this year, I think. So, uh... Ooh. Oh, wow, they are just stuck together in a block. Okay. I hope this isn't... Okay, I don't like that sound, but it's fine. I think it's just they've been stuck together for quite some time. So there's this shot. Uh, let's see. Does it say the anime it's from? So this is from A Tale of Two Robots, card five of seven. So I don't know what that means exactly. I don't know if they're, um, they're maybe cards you put together to make like a big image or something. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, man. There you go. That is like prime 90s kind of anime. Can I... Ooh, hang on. Right. BRB. Alright, I've pried it off the back card. Let's see. So this is Starlight Angel, card 2 of 10. So I'm guessing it is actually from an anime. Starlight Angel does sound like a series. Uh, so there's that. Man, that's cool. Okay, I'm really hoping this is from an anime. Okay, BRB again. Okay, we've got a weird bug alien kind of thing. Uh, so this is from Nightmare, card 5 of 12. And they're all like original concept art or something on the back, which is weird. So there's that. There is a guy practicing something. Let's see, I, I can probably do this live. So what I'm doing... Slowly getting the edges, and then it kind of comes off. Uh, I don't think it's peeling anything, which is good, but you never know, I guess. Uh, oh, Tale of Two Robots, card two of seven. I will look up, um, while I'm editing this, if that is an anime or something. If it is, I'll let you know in the caption below. Um, well, this looks like from it's from Nightmare again, I guess, because... It's got the weird, like, demon bug eyes from the other card from Nightmare. Let's see. Uh, oh, no, it's not. Franken's Gears. Fran Franken's Gears. Uh, 5 or 12. Okay. Uh, again, this does really sound like it is from... I mean, it sounds a very 90s anime, you know, the sort of... Or maybe these are, like, OVAs or something, you know, or sort of movies... Um, that is the thing about the 80s and 90s in anime. There was a ton of OVAs that are like 40 minutes and is the only thing you'll ever see of a series. And then it never gets uh, picked up. Here we got Nightmare again. Uh, 6 to 12. Very cool. 
like in the art style. Um, I'm going to have to like watch some of these if they are... Ooh! Dude, that's cool! Okay, I mean, if nothing else, these are interesting to look at. Hey, there you go. Right, I peeled that off. Uh, that is from Franken's Gears as well. Yeah, I'm guessing these are just like shots of particular anime and stuff then. I don't... Oh, wait, hang on. <laughs> Sorry, it's this, it's this way. There's some light being shone on two people, creatures. Uh, that is from Presence, uh, 7 of 12. And that is maybe one of the... I don't even know what's going on in some of this art. Ooh, man, that's a really nice shot uh, of some mountains and stuff with some smoke. Uh, I do not like that sound. It fills me with dread. But still, uh, we have uh, Deprive, uh, 3 of 15. Very nice. And last one. There's a camel walking through the desert. Very cool. Uh, and that is ending one of one of three. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if this is all one movie. Like ending. There's Franken's gear. I, I don't know. As I said, I'm going to look it up. I will let you guys know. You'll know by now anyway. Uh, if at the bottom of the screen, I'll let you all know if it is actually a series or sort of a movie they've adapted or something like that. I don't know. But it is really cool. Anyway, oh, right, okay. And the last one is a charity Yu-Gi-Oh pack. So I don't know Yu-Gi-Oh very well, but I bought a ton of these a while ago because, hey, 50 pence, uh, which is like, I guess, a dollar... Maybe in America, I don't know what the exchange rates are like at the moment, but so that's the one that's the other way around. Uh, and put that at the back, maybe. And we'll start. So, as I said, I don't know Yu Gi Oh very well, but these are kind of cool. We've got Rocket Hand, we've got Ryuko Light Sworn Hunter, which is a wolf, we've got a uh, Yellow Bellied Oni, very cool, we've got a uh, Christron. Thristvern, that's a mouthful and a half. Uh, we've got Minefield Driller, very cool. Oh, that's a rare, I do believe. Oh, is it first edition? I can't remember. Gold means something, doesn't it? Got Launcher Commander, very cool. I don't recognise any of these yet. Uh, we have Absolute Crusader. That is an absolute crusader. Look at him. What an absolute crusader. Uh, oh, Big Shield Gardener! Hey, I recognise that, dude. I think that's from Legacy of the Duelists, because that's an old card, and I know Legacy reprinted a lot of them. We've got Super Quantal Alphan Spike. Very cool. And our final... Ooh, yo! Let's go. We have Dragnox, the Empowered Warrior. Dude, look at that hollow. So, obviously, I don't think this is a valuable card or anything. I'm pretty sure most uh, cards that come in these packs are, like... V I guess if I sold each of them individually, I could maybe get more than 50 pence worth. But, I mean, th these kind of cards, unfortunately, are something that you look on eBay and they're worth, like, oh, cool, it's, it's selling for a dollar for, like, three or something. But I really like them because they're super shiny. Um, right, well... There you go. So we've got a very um, a pristine, I'd say that's a pristine bear tick there. Um, if you were buying off eBay, that would be um, sort of like a high grade, never played kind of, uh, or lightly played, you know. Um, yeah, we got some cool things. We got that hollow thing. And we've just got a bunch of, where's my favourite one? Hang on. Uh, there you go. That's not... yeah, no, hang on, that's not the one. Oh, that's turned around. Oh, it doesn't matter, look at him. We look at this guy. Look at look at that Chad. He is, uh, blonde. Right, anyway, I'll get out of your hair now. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll be doing this again tomorrow, uh, for December the 2nd. So, until then, Merry Christmas!